So, any good evaluation at Bryant Park Toastmasters has got to contain at least three positive comments and three comments on areas for improvement. I've got more of each, as is my habit, so I'll move through this quickly. I thought for an icebreaker, this seemed far, far ahead of its time. The introduction set the scene for a very interesting topic as well as an introductory speech about Michael himself. And he started with a pause. Great, great idea for anybody and everybody for every speech they ever give to start with a pause. There was humor, the line, too many wars, we all laughed, it was great. And the pace seemed unhurried and there seemed to be a sense of command about not rushing, and I thought that was terrific for a very first speech. And the perspective on the war itself, on the Gettysburg battle, and I thought showed a certain, certain depth of understanding, so I really enjoyed the intelligence behind the speech. He also, I know for a fact, is a quick study. As his mentor, I think he put this together yesterday. And this <laughs> seems, as we all do, this seems far more prepared for a one-day speech. And I've done those plenty. And there was a conclusion to the speech as well, which I thought was wonderful. He sort of wrapped it up in a nice package and gave us back the quote that he started with, a great circularity to the structure of the speech. Areas for improvement for this first speech and new member. I think he started off by, by saying that this was commemorating the 75 soldiers that died. And I thought it might be 7,500. Maybe I didn't hear the 100. I, I wasn't sure. Uh, the smile at the beginning of the speech and perhaps at the end is always a good way to calm yourself and to relax the audience. I thought pronunciation was a slight issue in specific words here and there. And I think that will take care of itself by even slowing down just a bit more, maybe 5 or 10% more to give yourself time to get those words pronounced correctly. And also a little pedestal moment for me, I think this is a great place to use any name you choose. We've had people rename themselves in, in the course of <laughs> <laughs> to very creative new names that they go by now. And so if Michael Lee would like to be Janine Lee, I think that's wonderful here if he chose to. Uh, breath instead of breathe was one of the pronunciation moments. And I think for Americans, you could even give us just a little bit more. I think when we were talking yesterday on the phone, I said it was a significant battle. It was the end of the war, wasn't it? Wasn't it really? So Americans could give a little history lesson. No, help saying it's probably my words there to teach me. Don't forget the handshake at the end as you're exiting and also when you come up. The salutations and the handshakes are part of the formality here at the speech at the Toastmasters moment here, and there's a tiny physical moment that he can watch, which is a slight collapsing on his hips. His torso just concaves very subtly, and that's a way of retreating. So the more confidence he gains, the more he'll just shoot up and out. Great first speech.